that uh, is uh, rather celebratory, as one would say. It is about India's second biggest passion, Kabaddi, a traditional uh, Indian sport that uh, went a makeover 11 years ago when the league was launched. It is the second most uh, followed league in India after the Indian Premier League or the IPL. Uh, now, we are in the middle of the 11th season. But what has made the league even more interesting are its women owners and leaders who are raiding the Kabaddi ecosystem off the mat. Um, I am joined uh, today by Radha Kapoor, uh, owner of Dabang Delhi and Kirti Murli Krishnan, the CEO of Bengaluru Bulls. Uh, thank you very much for joining me on the broadcast. I can see uh, Kirti there. Kirti, tell us a little bit about, you know, um, being who you are from your background, being an MBA and coming into the Kabaddi space and leading a Kabaddi team. Um, hi, Rika. Uh, thank you so much for having me. Um, so, uh, you know, nothing is as enriching as being a part of a PKL team. And um, I'm very glad to have this opportunity. And um, honestly speaking, um, I, on, I see it as an opportunity to bring a different perspective to the team in terms of uh, team building and decision making. Um, and given that it is a highly male dominated space, we've had our fair share of uh, challenges. And um, having navigated them, I think what we're trying to achieve is to create um, an environment that is um, that supports a collaborative effort. Mm -hmm. And we would like to respect everyone's opinions and ideas, irrespective of where they fall in the organization. Right. And that is something that um, I'm personally trying to work on. And I think more than being a woman leader, it's about, um, I guess, uh, trying to create uh, or build diversity and culture within the team. Mm -hmm. Radha, let me come to you a little bit about your background. We know that you are from a design background, now leading a sports franchise. Tell us a little bit about your transition. Um, so I think, um, I mean, firstly, good afternoon and thanks for having me here. I think it's been a um, great privilege to be part of this, um, you know, PKL journey right from the start. Um, I think it's been extremely empowering um, as a young women leader to be sort of leading from the front. Um, I think Kabaddi, I think, um, you know, I, I think it's really sort of turned around from where it started. Um, we, I mean, the heart of all of this for me has been to nurture talent and sort of help them provide this professional platform to actually, you know, outshine and actually, you know, realize their dreams, um, you know, and their fullest potential in the sport, which is a true, um, you know, urban Indian sport, um, you know, which comes right from our cultural roots. Um, so yeah, so I think it's been a it's been a great journey. Um, I think the idea is to keep it inclusive, um, have a lot of collaboration, help nurture talent, um, you know, come up with academies and um, actually see this come through. Uh, Kitty, you know, both you and Radha are two very urban women uh, leading your own businesses. How is it like connecting to the grassroots to? Even the last player who you pick in the auction, um, you know, how difficult is it for you to constantly make these switches every day? Um, honestly, Rika, it is challenging initially um, to understand their perspective and where they come from. Their um, perspective of how the sport works is completely different the way we see it. And um, but however, I think one thing that connects both of us together, the players and the management is the passion for the sport. Mm -hmm. And you can you can see it in them. There are so many young athletes who are um, there's so much fire in them. And it's a beautiful it's a beautiful process to be a part of their journey. So we have seen them at that grassroots scouting process and then they onboard and they come and be a part of our team. And then they go out to become the stars of PKL. And I think that's a very rewarding journey for us. <laughs> so um, the one thing that connects us both is definitely the love for the sport and the fact that both want to uh, take the sport to a different level. 
Radha, PKL is a television driven format. The reason it has become so hugely successful is because the way uh, the game of the sport of Kabaddi has been changed, rules have been tweaked and it keeps evolving year on year. Um, you know, as a leader, how difficult it is for you? How challenging is it for you to, uh, you know, do this seamless coordination between the broadcaster and your team for you to convince the team that, look, we are going to play the sport a little differently this time around and maybe include new rules to make the uh, sport look uh, better, snazzier. Yeah, so I think um, I think the broadcaster has done a terrific job in sort of packaging the whole sport. Uh, I think it's, um, you know, it's a very um, agile sport, which is um, very quick and, um, you know, sort of very viewer friendly. Um, it's also only 40 minutes, so that makes it really interesting. Um, you know, it's a really sort of quick sport and um, it's... Um, I think it's interesting uh, the way I think they formed, um, you know, the entire sort of uh, sport. I think when you come into the stadiums, there's so much high energy, um, you know, around it. Um, so I think it's um, it's it's been a great experience so far. But of course, I think on a uh, board and management level, I think we're always having conversations on how to sort of improve the sport, um, you know, sort of. So I think from here, I think it's only sort of going upwards and. Um, I think we'll see a great trajectory, you know, from here on. Kirti, you are an MBA, and I know um, uh, in the in the back room, the MBAs always drive revenue on the Excel sheets. Um, tell us a little bit about, you know, working Excel sheets for a sports franchise. How does it look like? Um, so there are different components to what uh, contributes to your Excel sheet, Rika. Um, so. Um, our most of our revenue comes in from broadcast and um, a lot of it is driven by sponsorships and um, obviously we um, you know it is important for us to make um, uh, a profit at the end of each season and we're very happy to say that you know we are a profitable franchise and that is a huge milestone for us and um, you know now that we are profitable we are venturing into different aspects of um, um, building the team like building um, an infrastructure for young talent mm -hmm. um, also encouraging a lot of grassroots activities um, because now that we have the breathing room to do that we we are able to achieve that now Radha, you know, as a franchise that has been there since the beginning of the league, when the league expands, what is the suggestion that you're going to give to the new owners, one challenge and one opportunity uh, that you are going to tell them about? Um, I think, um, you know, the idea is, I think, to sort of help, I think, groom the talent, you know, sort of nurture them. So I think... Um, I think when they join us, they almost become like, you know, family to the, you know, the Bang Daddy club. So I think um, supporting them in, you know, whatever way, because um, uh, I think the wins obviously always help. But I think it's also about sort of uh, creating an ecosystem where they can thrive, um, you know, through this. And there are a lot of like, um, you know, new young players sort of coming in as well. So we're always, you know, sort of, um, you know, uh, scouting sort of young talent who right. we can um, sort of groom through this, you know. Uh, we're also looking at maybe building an academy where we can, um, you know, take these players and eventually bring them on, you know, to um, to the team as well. So I think for me, it's about, um, you know, um, I think sort of being patient as well and, um, you know, sort of, I think, coming together as a community, um, you know, and obviously you know, sort of having a more long-term view, um, you know, on this. Well, I think I have enough time to take one last question with both of you. Kirti, how far are we from seeing a women's Kabaddi league? Um, Rika, I think that is something all of us would love to see. And the league is also constantly working on it. Um, it is definitely an interesting opportunity and it is an untapped market. And um, on there's a lot of good talent in women kabaddi. Uh, from the little bit of grassroots that we've done, we have seen a lot of young players in the space. And um, it will be very interesting to see. And, you know, the idea is to... So a lot of them are just playing 
uh, the sport for passion and mm-hmm. as a hobby. Mm-hmm. So it will be very interesting to see that the league can make a structure where this becomes a form of livelihood for them right and a revenue and an income stream for them and i think that will be a a, a magnanimous uh, milestone for the league and we should definitely work on it and we're already working on it radha the same question to you yeah like uh, i think um um i think i mean yeah that should happen hopefully soon um i think that's something which i definitely want to sort of support um i think sort of um you know um you know women should also have um a thriving sort of career in sport and um i think definitely a platform where they can turn their passions into actually a full time career which they can take on um would be wonderful and i'm sure that day is coming soon well thank you very much ladies for joining me on the broadcast and sharing your thoughts and your experience on um leading uh, one of india's most loved sports that's kabaddi